So in this video, I want to talk about a fairly recent video that went viral on TikTok. And shout out to M for tagging me in this on Twitter. So this is a TikTok video of an Indian woman doing some sort of let your hair down challenge. It has almost 9 million views at the time of me recording this video. And there's nothing at all wrong with this video. It's fun. It's what the young people are doing on TikTok. Nothing against the creator. Later. But when you get down in the comment section, that's where it gets a little disturbing for me. For example, this comment left by a black woman says, for the white people in the back, this the hair we be buying. And another black woman said, I got you 600 for those bundles, sis. Another black woman said, yet the whites think we're buying their hair. Baby, no, we buying this. Another black woman says, it makes no sense for people to have this much hair and I get left with this much. And there are many other comments from black women bragging and joking about buying and wearing Indian hair. Now, I know some of you are going to say Chrissy lighten up these are just jokes and I think these comments were meant to be taken lightly but in my opinion they are very self-deprecating and they point to an inferiority complex and low self-esteem and we certainly don't see non-black women doing the reverse and obsessing over our looks as black women like this and that is what makes this so cringy and off code in my opinion. And I'm guessing that a lot of these comments came from younger black women or girls, but is that really an excuse? Because what other group of young girls is doing this publicly and specifically under videos of black women? The problem here, in my opinion, is lack of guidance and lack of self-love. It's not about policing black women. I know I'm gonna be accused of that, but it's about not embarrassing yourselves and publicly exalting people who do not exalt you. This is what's happening here. If we're not exalting black men who don't reciprocate, we're somewhere exalting non-black women who do not reciprocate. And I will say that non-black women have been altering themselves so they can have some of the features that a lot of black women have, not all, but that many black women have naturally. Full lips, curvy hips, big butts, but one major difference is that you don't see them swarming under our photos and our videos talking about how much they love our lips or how much they love our butts and how we have the best bodies and how they're going to pay to get what we have naturally. Even though we can see them doing this, they're still not going to come up under our posts and our videos talking about it and bragging about it and making jokes about it. They don't normally do that. And you're certainly not going to hear Indian women of all people give any praise to black women's beauty like this. Now, there were white women complimenting her hair and her beauty as well. But the big difference I see is other groups of women make sure not to throw themselves under the bus while admiring another woman's beauty because there's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like black women especially receive so much harassment and criticism from other groups of people that we just don't need to be dishing out compliments like that. I'm gonna just be honest, especially if it comes at the expense of ourselves and our own phenotype. And obviously I've seen non-black women, you know, kind of down themselves while uplifting other women. I've seen non-black women do that here and there, but not as much as black women. And obviously that does stem from the internalized anti-blackness that most black women were taught literally since birth. So I'm not blaming us for that. It's not our fault. But when we know better, we need to do better, ladies. And it apparently got so bad that the creator of the video made a pinned comment addressing the quote unquote racism in the comment section, which she didn't address black women specifically. But who else was she talking about? Black women were the main ones under there talking about white women. So as you were praising her hair under that video, she was defending white women. And let's be real, there's anti-blackness all over Asia, dark-skinned Indian women especially are online talking about colorism just like we are. And I'm not saying that's why the creator pinned the comment and kind of, you know, protected the white women. And I know she did that to just, you know, protect her self but I'm just telling black women that the collective of them don't even like you like that if anything they worship white women which is why if any other group of women are going to praise them it should be white women to be honest with you that's why white women really don't have anything to lose when they do it they don't you know they're not embarrassing themselves when they do it plus let's be honest their hair is so similar maybe not in thickness 
but in texture. It's so similar that it doesn't really matter if white women praise the hair of an Indian woman. And even then, I don't see white women willing to put themselves down like black women were, even if they think their hair is better and trust that they also know that Asians worship whiteness so they can throw out a compliment to them and still not genuinely want to look like them. That's another thing black women need to understand. White women complimenting them isn't the same as you complimenting them. Since a lot of them already worship whiteness, it's kind of like an exchange with you it's one-sided. It's not reciprocal. They don't fuck with black people like that, black women. And so you need to understand that. And this is not me saying that you should hate them or harass them or anything, but you should keep that in mind and act accordingly. That Asian bobblehead reality star chick that I'm not going to name on my channel because I'm not going to give her any clout. She made all kinds of videos calling black women bald-headed yet you're publicly worshiping their hair. And let's keep it real. She said what a lot of non-black women feel about black women and our hair. And you were all offended and you were huffing and puffing. But then, you know, I see you guys under this woman's comment section falling out over her hair. But it's like, do you think that this Asian bobblehead is the only non-black woman who feels that way about you? Do you think she's the only one? I remember a long time ago, Lily Singh made a video, quote unquote, joking about Tiffany Haddish wearing her cousin's hair. Man, I love Tiffany. I love you, Tiffany. Yeah, she's like family, you know? I'm Indian, so she's wearing my cousin's hair right now. <clears throat> and I don't know if this is why Tiffany Haddish went bald or whatnot, but that was embarrassing. Even though, you know, the joke wasn't funny, it's still embarrassing. And so this kind of stuff happens, yet you're publicly praising them as they're making fun of you wearing their hair. I mean, the self-respect and pride and dignity just is not there with too many black women. And look, no shame in my game. I used to wear their hair too when I was younger, when I before I got woke, okay? So I'm not coming from a place of judgment. I'm just trying to help other black women realize that you can overcome hating your hair or even if you don't hate it just disliking it you can learn how to manage it and I'm trying to help you understand what you say to the world what you represent when you present yourself this way when you behave this way when you do these things there is a reason I don't wear their hair anymore because I don't want non-black women looking at me thinking I want anything that they have and because your hair is your crown and it's one of the first things that draws you to a person. And because a lot of black women express that they're not proud of their hair, that they don't like their hair, when you actually see a black woman who is confident in her natural hair, people are surprised by that. People are fascinated by that. Your hair can become a conversation piece. Especially if it's looking good, you got your cute outfit on, you're gonna get compliments, you're gonna get attention. And of course you won't always get attention or always get compliments when you wear your natural hair. But something you will exude is self-confidence and self-acceptance and that will make you feel good and in turn it will radiate on the outside and it will be very appealing to other people. And I just feel like non-black women have become so arrogant. And I think part of it is because black men, obviously, you know, they're always talking about how non-black women are so much better. That makes them even more arrogant. And I, I just don't want, I don't want to give them anything. I'm not giving them nothing. I just have too much pride and too much self-respect at this stage in the game. And yes, ladies, I know that a lot of non-black women, they get tans to darken their skin. But one thing they're not doing is walking around with Afro textured hair. So let's stop comparing apples to oranges, ladies. Yes, they wear weave too, but they're wearing, for the most part, they're wearing weave that matches their hair texture. And you know, I'm not trying to be offensive here, but perhaps some non-Black women need tans and more voluptuous bodies. You are already equipped with what you need. So the imitation on you is unflattering. Now, like I've stated several times in the past, I think these white women who alter their features, they're trying to look like mixed race women more than anything. They're not trying to look like black women in my opinion. But my point is the body parts that they are buying, the features that they are buying, black women on average have naturally. You take away from your beauty trying to get features similar to theirs. They add to their beauty trying to get features similar to yours. So that should tell you something, ladies. 
It seems to me that black women are the real blueprint and they've convinced you that you need to change yourself or add all these things to yourself to look better when you don't. You don't need the blonde, exaggerated long hair and those extreme exaggerated eyelashes. You don't need those extreme baby hairs and they're really adult hairs. They're not even baby hairs. You don't need those glued down to your forehead. You don't need 28 30 inch uh, weave, long straight weave on your head to look good. You don't need that. Black hair makes a statement. You don't need straight hair or straight weave to look good. Your natural texture looks best on you. Even if it's natural textured weave, it's just more fitting. And look, I'm not saying this to cap, but black women are some of the best looking natural beauties. I don't think anything is wrong with black women enhancing our beauty. What I'm saying is with us, a little goes a long way. We look great with short hair we look great with long hair black women look the best with bald heads and let me say that I do see black women also obsessing over long natural black hair as well there's these videos of these women who have uh, grown their hair really long and that could be also a little problematic if you're just obsessed with long hair or if it's a texture that isn't yours or if you think you absolutely need long hair to be beautiful but if you just want to grow your hair out and you aren't overly obsessed with having long hair and it's your hair type that you're obsessing over or you're exalting then I don't see anything wrong with that that's what you should be doing if you have hair goals those hair goals should be attainable and they should be realistic and y'all know I love long natural hair I am unapologetic about that and no I don't think it's Eurocentric because most of us are capable of growing long hair because y'all walking around here with locks down your back loose hair down your back black men are walking around with long locks so we're not gonna sit here and say that long black hair is Eurocentric. It's not, it can grow. And the exceptions don't make the rule. So we aren't talking about black women with hair or scalp disorders either. What is Eurocentric or anti-black is if you always want to wear weave that is the opposite of your hair texture like this Indian woman's hair. A lot of black women unfortunately wear our insecurities. We're very loud with them. And that includes wearing the Indian and European looking hair. What's even worse is that you're passing down your insecurities to your daughters and you're making them hate their hair. And not all of you, because I will acknowledge that a lot of black mothers, y'all are doing the damn thing with your daughter's natural hair more than ever. And I see them on the gram, beautiful natural hair on these little girls. So I do feel like progress has been made and I want to acknowledge that. But seeing black women fawn over this Indian woman's hair, it shows me that we have a long way to go. And when you guys make these quote unquote jokes about wearing other women's hair, people aren't laughing with you, black women. They're laughing at you. So please, ladies, stop embarrassing yourselves. And another thing is, it looks crazy for Black women to complain about men like Mike Epps photoshopping his baby's hair to look straight. And then you turn around and obsess over straight hair yourself. Or if not straight, wavy, you know, loose textured, however you want to put it. A lot of y'all that was under Mike Epps photo, I mean, you got weaving your hair to look just like that Photoshop little girl's head. So it's like... It just looks bad, black women. And I will say this about that. Black women usually are wearing straight hair or loose textured hair in an attempt to attract black men. Let's just be honest about that. Some of it is also to assimilate in the workplace. You know, they have these laws against natural hair. So that is a problem too. But I think we should also acknowledge that we're not wearing 28 inch weave or blonde weave or glued down baby hairs just to assimilate to the workplace. We like how it looks and we we do it in an attempt to attract black men. And that's why it's comical to hear black men online, especially on YouTube and and their pick me's as well, because it's not just black men, but they're making videos using the fact that black women wear weave to defend Mike Epps and his colorism and his texturism. And it's like, no, whether or not black women wear weave, you're still gonna be texturist. Like, you're still gonna be colorist. Like, I, I just, black men are so full of shit. It's like, I don't see why black women take them seriously at this point. Most black men are texturist. They like women with straight or loose textured hair or weave if they don't have type three curls. Let's just get real about that. They do complain about weave sometimes, but let's just be real. They would rather see black women in weave than type four kinky hair. Let's just be honest. That's why I can't take them seriously. And they do this with colorism too. Oh, black women just don't like their skin tone. They just don't like their hair. And this is the colorist saying this. And if they're women, 
Usually they have someone else's hair on their head. Talking about how dark skinned women need to love their skin and get some self esteem, but they never wear their real hair. And if they're a black man, they're usually fawning over women with light skin and loose textured hair. And they also fawn over the women with the weaves down their backs. I mean, look, look at those women on Instagram. They have all of the likes. Black men all down in their comment section. So it's like black men have no legs to stand on with this. In my opinion, their opinions are null and void on this. And I think this is a conversation black women should have amongst ourselves and our daughters. Black men and their opinions, ladies, just tune out the noise. Seriously. This is something that we should do for us primarily, not for black men, not for any race of men, okay? And I saw a tweet. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, but some of you tagged me in it. And one of you said that there's a TikTok trend happening where black girls are making videos about going back to relaxers or black women. And I think it's partially due to the maintenance that goes into caring for natural hair. And it's just something that a lot of us are still not used to. We haven't figured it out. We're impatient with it. We don't want to do it or we don't have have time to do it. But I really caution black women against going back to relaxers because as studies have proven, the chemicals are dangerous. And The Guardian actually just posted an article linking a study that said long-term use of relaxers puts black women at a 30% increased risk of breast cancer. So ladies, please think about that before going back to relaxers and try to learn how to manage your hair. There's enough information out here at this point. There are tons of YouTube videos, YouTube tutorials that you can follow to make your hair look like you want it to look. There's natural looking weave that you can wear if you can't necessarily achieve what you want to achieve. There's no excuse at this point. And the last thing I want to touch on that kind of relates to this is all of this talk that has been happening about pretty privilege on black YouTube and how some black women are upset that they don't have it or it kind of bums them out that they don't have it. Well, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you're trying to show up as your best self, looking like an imitation of someone else will not yield the results that you're looking for, ladies, not as a black woman. Imitation does not work on us because we are the blueprint. Again, people imitate us. So it's not going to get you any closer to getting the attention that you want to receive from men. Trying to imitate the women who have the most pretty privilege, that is not gonna work. You do much better being yourself or a slightly enhanced version of yourself. That is how you stand out the most, ladies. And I've heard some black women say that they attract dusties when they wear their natural hair, but I'm gonna just keep it 100 with you. That means maybe because you don't know how to make it look good. And like I said, we know what most black men like, but in my experience, natural hair is fuckboy repellent, especially if you look expensive, if you look polished and classy with it. And you have to be open because you're gonna attract all races of men when you look like that. May not attract the, you know, rapper fuckboy with the gold in his mouth, with, you know, all the swag and all the flashiness, but you really shouldn't want that anyway. You may not even attract black men and that's okay too, but it's all about the presentation, okay? And this is not to say that I think natural black hair always has to be quote unquote done. It just needs to look cute and complimentary enough to attract the type of men you want to attract. If that is your goal, because it's not every woman's goal to attract men or look good for men. And that's fine too. But if you're attracting dusties with your natural hair and you don't want to, and you want to attract better men, take the hairstyle and the rest of your appearance into consideration. Not every woman is going to benefit from pretty privilege. And I'll just be be real there's always gonna be a woman who looks better than you who benefits from pretty privilege more than you do and the same thing applies to her there's always gonna be a woman who looks better than her and benefits more from pretty privilege than her and while I think it's perfectly okay to know where you rank and how you are perceived by other people I wouldn't get hung up on that I would just focus on the people that you're able to attract I would focus on playing up your strengths and showing off your best assets whatever those are and I'm gonna tell you covering up your hair that puts you at a disadvantage at least that applies to most black women I did a video years back about attracting high value men 
with natural hair or textured weave. So definitely check that video out if you haven't. I also made a black hair playlist. I've talked about hair politics several times on this channel. I'm very passionate about this subject. My opinion pisses off a lot of black women, but you know, I gotta come on here and keep it real. But check out that playlist as well if you wanna hear other thoughts I have on this subject. This situation also inspired me to make TikTok accounts, so make sure you follow them. I have some ideas for content because, you know, I kind of been lurking on TikTok and studying what the girls are doing, but I want the young ladies who follow me to give some ideas that they have for the content that they want to see down in the comment section. So yeah, ladies, work on developing your self-love, love for your hair, work on improving your self-esteem, your sense of pride, and have some damn dignity. Stop obsessing over Indian bundles and exalt your own hair, ladies. So that is all I have to say about this for now. Let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll catch up with you in the next video.